Hello, Kurt Jackson here with this week's uh, Your Money Matters. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Today we're going to talk about a, a tough topic, long-term care. Right? Do you ever worry about what would happen to you if you uh, needed some form of specialized care, if you had ended up with, with Alzheimer's or uh, dementia or Parkinson's or maybe you had a stroke and you couldn't fully care for yourself? Something that would, you, would mean you would need some form of long-term care. So are you like me where that just that creates that pit in your stomach where you don't want to think about that maybe happening to you and maybe even in doubting where where, my, where would I have the money? Where would it come from to pay for that type of care? You know, do you, am I going to need it? You know, would you need to depend on your spouse to take care of that care or your kids? You know, it just makes me, you know, sick to my stomach just to, to think about it. So let me ask you this. Do you really want your spouse to have to care for you, right? I know we're already a little uncomfortable. I'm going to ratchet it up a notch or two right now. If you think your spouse can care for you, please try this exercise. Go in your bedroom, lay down on the floor flat, and don't help, and have your spouse pick you up and put you in your bed. Now, the husband might be able to. The wife, maybe, maybe not. But now, whether you, if you can, if you think you can, or if you can, now fast forward 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, okay? Would you be able to then? Right? Would you want to have to do that then? Or would you rather have the resources, the money, to be able to choose where your care is, to be able to have choice and control over that care. All right, I'm going to ratchet it up another notch. Do you want your kids to see you naked? Okay. I know, it's uh, kind of an ee, ee, ee. And there's some shock value there, but it's 100% true. Okay, so think about this. I'll get to that here in just a minute. Look, I know that's not the ideal picture in your mind, I'm sure it's not something you want, and I, I know it's some, I'm sure it's something your kids don't want. But the problem is, without that money, you don't have the choice and control over your care, where those decisions are going to be. So if the kids have to care for you, okay, they're going to see you naked. I know this for a fact from personal experience. You, several years ago, my dad got sick, and I had to take care of him. He didn't have the resources to, to have choice and control over that. Um, he didn't want it. I certainly didn't want it. At the time, I had a six-month at home that I was already changing diapers for, if you get my drift. Okay. So the bottom line is, if you want to have choice and control over this situation, if it is to occur, okay, you're going to need money. Now, traditionally, the problem has been that the solutions that get you that money haven't been too attractive, okay, and they're very expensive. See. Traditionally, all we've ever really been offered is long-term care insurance. It's typically quite pricey, and in fact, we're seeing a bunch of premiums skyrocket, and that's because the actuaries, the number guys, the number folks at the insurance companies have screwed up. They have way underestimated how much this is actually going to cost, so that should tell you something, okay? All right, so, um, so it's very expensive. We're already seeing premium increases, and it's almost always a, a use it or lose it proposition. If you don't use it, you know, you lose it. Okay. So how attractive is a solution that costs a lot, the price keeps rising, and then you have to use it. If you don't use it, you lose all that money. Can anyone bl be blamed for not really wanting to pay that price? Maybe that's why we, we don't have that many folks that are, um, that are actually buying it. So now you might be thinking along the lines of, hey, I'm not going to need long-term care. Okay. Uh, and if I do, Medicare is going to cover it. Well, let me set you straight on that. First of all, Medicare doesn't cover long-term care. Uh, they will cover up to 100 days of care after a qualifying event, but it's not ongoing care. It's really kind of a more of a rehab type thing. Right. Second, if you don't think you'll need it, the numbers tell a quite different story. You know, we're living longer, right? So if you reach age 65, right, and there's probably about an 80% chance that you'll do that. If you reach age, age 65, there's a 72% chance you're going to need some form of specialized care in retirement. Okay, We call that long-term care. So is that something you want that more choice and control over? If you could find an affordable way to provide the pr protection that you need, would you be open to finding out if it would make sense for your situation? If it could also make sure that if you didn't use it, you didn't lose it, would that make a difference? Okay. Say you didn't need it at all, or maybe you, you, you needed some, but you didn't use it all up. Um, where Then whatever money is left over would pass to your heirs. Okay. So um, think about this. So let me ask you a question. Are you on this topic? And I know it's not a topic that we really want to talk about or think about, but come on, we, at some point in time, we need to plan for the future. We don't want to just 
you, do you want the government's plan for you or do you want your plan for you? So if you want to have your plan, you're going to have to figure out how to find the resources to give you that choice and control. So you're here watching this, so there's some there's some, definitely some interest or you wouldn't be here watching this. So let me ask you, if we put it on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 you could care less, and 10 means, man, I need to do something, Kurt, right now. Let's do something right now. Okay. Um, where would you find yourself on, on that on that uh, spectrum from, on one to ten? All right, are you in that seven to maybe ten range where this is something that's really important to you? And if you could find a solution that was really affordable and you felt it would provide the benefits you're seeking, and it wasn't a use it or lose it proposition, then you'd want to learn about it right away. Uh, is that where you are? Uh, if it is, then that might make it might make sense for us to get together over coffee, lunch, you know, talk on the phone. To see if it might make sense for you protecting your family. If you're, you know, a, a one to a six, yeah, maybe not. You know, maybe it's going to take a little longer before you for that to to to, uh, to kick in. But what I want to leave you with this is, if you're that seven to ten, then I encourage you to reach out to me or someone that that is like me. If you don't, if you don't, if you know someone along those lines, I'm guessing if you do, you wouldn't probably be here watching this either. Um, but if you'd like to learn more about this affordable solution, um, it's pretty. Pretty neat how, how these strategies can work, and we've got several different strategies that we can look at to see if we can make one fit within what you want. You can connect. Uh, you can reach out to me on my direct line at 816-582-5532. You can email me Kurt at kjfinancialonline.com. That stuff's going to be up there on the screen for you. Let's set up a time and let's just have a little conversation about some of the new options that are out there uh, that you probably haven't heard about. Uh, and then see if that's something that might interest you, okay? Hey, I want to thank you for spending a little time with us this week. I hope you found some some value in this installment of Your Money Matters. I know it's kind of a, a tough topic, and I, I use a little shock value with you, but it was true shock value um, with the, you don't want your, you want your kids to see you naked. Um, so if you did find some value in all this, whether you get friends, family, co-workers that you think might find some value, please share the link. This is information I think everybody should know so they can make decisions on whether or not they want to pursue it or not, but at least you'd have that option uh, since you knew about it. So, Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a great week. Make sure you tune in next week.